In this PowerPoint, we'll look at Graham's law of effusion, which relates the speed of a gas particle to its mass. Diffusion and effusion are two terms that we use to describe how gas particles will spread out through space. Diffusion is probably the term you are more familiar with. In diffusion, molecules simply spread out or disperse through space, moving from areas of high concentration to low concentration. If you've ever walked into a room and immediately noticed the smell of something that's located on the other side, you've noticed the process of diffusion. The gas molecules associated with the scent spread out from its source and disperse through space, moving from areas of high concentration to those of lower concentration. In this picture, the smoke particles make it easier to see how gas molecules spread out from a flame and disperse through space. E-fusion, on the other hand, describes the movement of gas particles in a specialized laboratory situation used to measure the rate of gases. It's the escape of a gas through a pinhole into a vacuum. And here you see a diagram of an effusion setup with the movement of two gases represented by different colored spheres through a pinhole into a vacuum on the right hand side. Now notice that there are more green spheres moving into the right side of the container than there are purple spheres. And this is because different gas particles move at different speeds. And the heavier a gas particle is, the slower it moves. This is the central idea behind Graham's law of effusion. Graham's law of effusion states that the rate of effusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its molar mass. So this is the mathematical statement of it, and this strange symbol here simply means proportional to. Now imagine increasing the molar mass of a gas particle, making it heavier. So that means increasing the value of the denominator of this fraction. And as you increase the value of the denominator, the value of the overall fraction actually goes down, decreases. So imagine changing a fraction from one half to one fourth. You know that as we increase the value of that denominator, we actually get a fraction, one fourth, that's less in value than the one half. So increasing the molar mass actually decreases the rate of effusion. Heavier particles move more slowly. In the same way, we could decrease the molar mass, make our denominator smaller, and this would actually make the rate of effusion larger. So lighter particles move more quickly. You can use Graham's law of effusion to determine the molar mass of an unknown gas if you compare rates of effusion to that of a known gas. So this formula represents another way of stating Graham's law as simply a comparison between two gases. And we can use this formula to determine the molar mass of an unknown, as in this example. Hydrogen gas effuses 8.97 times faster than an unknown gas. Estimate the molar mass of the unknown gas. So to answer this question, let's first define what we know. We're not given the absolute rates of effusion of the gases, but we do know the relationship between them. So if we define the rate of the unknown gas as x, then the rate of hydrogen gas would always be 8.97 times x. We also know the formula for hydrogen gas, so we can calculate its molar mass. 2 times 1.01 .01 for the mass of hydrogen gives us 2.02 .02 grams per mole. And of course, we're trying to find the molar mass of the unknown gas. So we can substitute these values into our equation, and we should be able to solve for molar mass of the unknown. So I'm going to define for this equation hydrogen as my substance A and my unknown as substance B. And I'll substitute those into the formula. So notice that in the substituted formula, x will actually cancel itself out in the ratio on the left-hand side. 
This simplifies the equation. So now all I need to do is get my one variable, my molar mass of my unknown, by itself. So the first step is to actually get 2.02, .02, the square root of that number, out of the denominator. So I can multiply both sides by the square root of 2.02, .02, and I end up with uh, the square root of 2.02 .02 .02 times 8.97 equals the square root of my unknown molar mass. I want to get rid of the square root terms next, so I square. But I have to square the entire equation. So that means I also square the 8.97. What this is going to give me, it's going to eliminate my square roots for the 2.02 .02 and for the molar mass of my unknown. And it gives me 80.461 for the square of 8.97. So my molar mass of my unknown is 2.02 .02 .02 times 80.461, which equals 163 grams per mole. So in summary, Graham's Law of Effusion describes the rate of movement of gas particles. The rate at which gas particles move is inversely proportional to the molar mass or size of the particle, and a comparison of the rates of effusions of two gases can be used to determine the molar mass of an unknown.